I'm Steve McCarthy. We're at the Sun City home of Nancy Paulson for a very, very special reunion. Uh, the ladies that you're about to meet are not only comrades in arms, they're all Vietnam veterans. And they've all graciously agreed to spend a few minutes of their time with us and reminisce as old soldiers. Hey, look at that. <laughs> Hello, Nancy. Hi, Nancy. Hello, Nancy. Hi, that's all of us. Ladies, I, I guess my first question, the obvious one is, uh, Vietnam was the most divisive war in our history. All of you ladies are volunteers. What motivated you to volunteer? For me, it was the Army Student Nurse Program. It's in a four-year college and it costs money. And uh, they, if you worked for, if you went to school uh, for two years, you owed them three years, and they paid for the one year, they owed them two. So, I went for the long. Has a long history of military, and I had read all the World War about the nurses in Corregidor, and uh, I wanted to be a combat nurse. I didn't volunteer to go there, and I think the majority of us did not volunteer to go there. There are several levels of medical care. Closest to the front is your combat support hospital or your forward surgical team. Then you have a, a mobile army surgical hospitals, which are now the combat surgical hospitals. They're mobile. Then you have the evac hospital, evacuation hospital, which is farther back. And then those are the folks that have the most specialists and the most nurses and the most beds. And from there, your patient would be evacuated to the next level. From Vietnam, it was Japan. From Japan, they would go to either the East Coast or the West Coast, either Letterman, uh, Washington, or um, Walter Reed in Washington, D.C. You were very young women at the time. How did you deal with that? I don't know about anybody else. I was ICU recovery and that first push and the helicopters and hearing them up there. And I remember going out and the whole sky was just full of medevac choppers and they kept bringing the patients in and then some of the tech would come through and tell us get them out get them out we were very naive and we were young but you know what the patients were younger so young and healthy that was it they were so healthy yeah. and I, the first one i took care of was he had an amputee of arm leg i would do it all over again I, if, and I've often said that if I had one year of my life, if the Lord says, Marlene, you can live one year of your life over from start to finish, but we can't change anything, I would be the year I spent in Vietnam. Afghanistan and Iraq, OEF and OIF, are very different. It's all guerrilla warfare. You never know what's happening. We've lost six army nurses over there. If, you, if someone needs to go, I, would, I wouldn't want my family member to go, I'd go again, anytime. Yeah. But I don't want a kid to go. It, it's yeah. heartbreaking. My son has been yeah. uh, deployed four times. My son was thinking of joining the Army. Uh, he was 18 and he could have done it if he wanted to. Uh, and I couldn't bear the thought. I told him, I said, I'll move, I'll take you to Canada, I'll do anything. Please don't go because I saw so many young boys like him dead or maimed. Easy question, when's the next reunion can I go? <laughs> <laughs> Same for every two years. New Orleans, yes. New Orleans. it's going to be in New Orleans. New Orleans, the next one, two years. 2000, what, 15. Ladies, you're a remarkable group. Again, it seems like too little, but welcome home and thank you for your thank service. You. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, how do you define hero? How do you define patriotism? The ladies that joined us today, none of them were heroes in the classical sense, and yet all of them are heroes. America's always been blessed that her sons and daughters have rallied to the flag when we've needed them, oftentimes without the thanks of the nation. On behalf of all the citizens of Sun City to these ladies, thank you for your service and welcome home. To all of our colleagues and comrades, and to our patients. To our, to our patients, to our comrades. Here, 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 here.